Hello friends, this video on integrals part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. Using uh, substitution won't help because if you take cos 4x is equal to c, you get sin x, sin 6x, dx that is not there. So we will also use trigonometric formulas here. Let's take these two parts. So we know that cos a cos b is nothing but 1 by 2 cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. This formula we know. So I am taking this part. Why? I could have taken these two parts also but I am taking these two parts because cos 2x I can any way convert into simple form. These two are a little difficult so let's take these two part only. So this became cos 2x in constant cos 4x into cos 6x become 1 by 2 cos a plus b that is 6 plus 4 that is cos 10x plus a minus b that is 4x minus 6x that is cos of minus 2x. 4x minus 6x is minus 2x dx. Cos of minus x is always cos of x. So we can make this positive also or let me write here this is equal to cos of 2x into 1 by 2 I will take common here into cos of 10x plus cos of dx. Why? Because cos of minus 2x is cos of 2x only. Now again if you see this is again a pair actually there are two pairs this, if you see this is nothing but 1 by 2 cos of 2x cos of 10x dx plus again one more integral 1 by 2 cos of 2x cos of 2x cos of 2x cos of 2x dx again so again this is a little simpler but again this is complex so we can again use this formula cos a cos b so what we'll get is 1 by 2 cos a this guy is a here b is here so 1 by 2 it was already there one more 1 by 2 will come here cos of a plus b that is 10 plus 2 cos of 12 plus cos of a minus b that is 2 minus 10 that is minus 8 and cos of minus x is cos of x itself so I'll write cos of 8 correct dot dx plus again integral this is all integral here integral 1 by 2 was already there 1 by 2 will come more cos 2x cos 2x a and b both are 2 2 so 1 by 2 cos of 2 plus 2 is 4 cos 4x plus 2 minus 2 is 0 cos 0 dot dx right this is what we get if you make things more simpler 1 by 2 1 by 2 will multiply it becomes 1 by 4 and this is cos 2x dx I'll write here like this cos 12x plus cos 8x plus cos 4x plus cos 0 is 1 the whole thing dot dx so if you see this is a simpler integration now everything is plus 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 and cos x differentiation we know cos is integration we know what is that that is sin x so this becomes cos 12x will become sin x by 12 12 was part of x cos 8x will become sin 8x by 8 cos 4x will become sin 4x by 4 and 1 will become x and that is my answer so if you see here also very easily we convert this complex to a simpler and then super simpler form using my trigonometric formulas and that is the power of trigonometric formulas earlier we have seen the power of substitution and now we have seen the power of trigonometric formulas to convert complex integral into simpler integral here we have to integrate sin cube x cos cube x dx see the first thing we'll try is shall can we use substitution if not we will use trigonometric in this case if you see sin m x to the power cos mx that means I can use substitution correct how to do that I can write this guy as sin cube x as sin square x into sin x because one I need and cos cube x I can write as cos square x sorry cos cube x dx what I have done here is I just took one sin x out why because now I can take cos x as t then I'll take uh, I'll get minus 
sin x dx as dt. So this guy will help me. So this guy will become cos x as t, it becomes t cube. Sin square x is nothing but 1 minus cos square x, right? Sin square x is 1 minus cos square x. So I can write this guy as 1 minus t square. And sin x dx is nothing but minus dt. I'll put a minus. So this integration is nothing but minus or minus I'll remove, I'll get as t square or t to the power 5 minus t cube dt. Correct. And this is nothing but t to the power 6 by 6 minus t to the power 4 by 4 plus some constant. And t is my cos x. So this becomes cos x to the power 6 by 6 minus cos x to the power 4 by 4 plus c. So why I took this was this is not a trigonometric identity question, this is a substitution question only. Why I took this was given a choice between trigonometric and substitution approach, use the first approach, the substitution approach, because it's a little simpler. If you use trigonometric approach, you can do that. As well, in this case, sine cube x you can write, you know the formula of sine cube x. Cos cube x also we can write in the formula of cos cube x and multiply. You'll get a little simpler uh, equation. You again use trigonometric formula, you keep using it till you get a very simple equation. Once you get a very simple equation, you can use the integral or you can use this direct integration. Let's take one more example 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. Here also we have to integrate with respect to dx. What shall we do? Using substitution is difficult. Why? Because if we substitute 1 plus cos x as t, even if you take this, what you get is minus sin x dx is equal to t. And we don't have minus sin x component here. So this approach won't have. So let's apply some brain, convert this into a little simple formula. 1 minus cos x, I know, is 2 sin square x by 2. And 1 plus cos x, I know is nothing but 2 cos square x by 2. These formulas we know, right? Let's just apply this formula and see what happens. This becomes 2 sin square x by 2 by 2 cos square x by 2 dx. 2 to cancel. This is nothing but tan square x by 2 dx. Do I know integration of tan square x by 2? No. But I think I know 6 square x by 2. If I have 6 square x by 2 integration, I can know that is nothing but tan x. And I also know that I can write this formula again in form of 6 square x by 2. How come? I know that 6 square x by 2 minus 2 square x by 2 is equal to 1. Or 10 square x by 2 is nothing but 6 square x by 2 minus 1. The whole thing integration with dx. Integration of 6 square x by 2 is nothing but 10 x by 2 by 1 by 2. And integration of 1 is x plus constant. So what you get is 2 tan x by 2 minus x plus c. So this is the case we have seen where we applied the formulas to make my life simple. We have to integrate this cos 2x cos 2 alpha cos x cos alpha. Here also it is difficult to apply substitution because even if you take this guy as t, let's suppose this guy as t if you take, uh, you get sin x dx in the uh, I'll show you. If you take cos x is equal to t, you get sin x dx is equal to dt. You don't have sin x dx part here, correct? So here also we'll apply some trigonometric formulas to convert this into a simpler formula. Cos a cos b. Cos a cos b I know is nothing but minus 2 sin a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. This is cos a minus cos b. This formula we know, right? Cos a minus cos b is minus 2 sin a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b. Let's apply formula here. So this becomes minus 2 sin a is 2x here, a plus b. 2 alpha by 2 sin a minus b by 2, 2x minus 2 alpha by 2 divide by this guy now minus 2 
साइन ए प्लस बी दिस एक्स प्लस अल्फा बाई टू साइन एक्स माइनस अल्फा बाई टू माइनस टू माइनस टू कैंसिल डॉट डी एक्स इंटीग्रेशन दिस इज वॉट यू गेट वेन यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस ना टू एक्स प्लस अल्फा टू एक्स प्लस टू अल्फा बाई टू इज नथिंग बट एक्स प्लस अल्फा राइट एंड दिस इज एक्स माइनस अल्फा सो साइन दिस इज अल्फा बाई टू एंड अल्फा माइनस एक्स माइनस अल्फा बाई टू एंड दिस इज एक्स प्लस अल्फा बाई टू आई नो दैट साइन टू ए इज नथिंग बट टू साइन ए कॉस so if i break this further what will happen is i'll cancel these two guys right so I'll, what i will get is sin x plus alpha is x plus alpha is nothing but 2 sin x plus alpha by 2 cos x plus alpha by 2 correct similarly this one is x minus alpha because two to cancels so this becomes 2 sin x minus alpha by 2 cos x minus alpha by 2. this whole thing divides by sin x plus alpha by 2 sin of x minus alpha by 2 so let's cancel this part this guy you cancel and this guy also you cancel so what i get is this is 4 So what I get is four is out here. I get cos x plus alpha by two into cos x minus alpha by two. Now this kind of thing we have done now. Why cos a cos b? I know what I can do is I can convert this cos a cos b into uh, a plus b form. How? I know that cos a plus b, sorry, cos a cos b. I have the formula right here. I write here cos a cos b is nothing but one by two cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. This kind of thing we have done. We have if if I have cos a minus cos a b funda, I can convert this into this kind of equation, and this is very easy to integrate. So we are almost done here. We have uh, converted this guy into cos a cos b, and now this guy will convert into cos a plus b plus cos a minus b form. So that will be nothing but four is common here. It will become four by two because this becomes two one by two into cos a plus b. This cos a plus b is this plus this. This is cos of x plus alpha by two plus x minus alpha by two plus A minus B that is A is x plus alpha by two minus B that is x minus alpha by two. correct. And this is nothing but two into this guy becomes x cos x plus cos alpha. And you integrate with dx. Very simple now. So you integrate. Cos x this becomes sin x this becomes two sin x plus two cos alpha is a constant here. You integrate with dx that becomes two cos alpha x plus some constant and that is my answer. So what I've done here I had this complex uh, what do you call it? equation you can see or integral. This integrand actually I converted this into simpler integrand by using trigonometric formulas. I convert converted this into cos a cos b form, and I knew from cos a cos b I can very easily convert cos a cos b into one uh, by two into cos a plus b plus cos a minus b form because if it is in into it is difficult to find integral, but if it is plus it is easy to find integral. So this was subtraction. I converted this into the uh, this was multiplication. I convert, converted this into addition form, and thus I got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.